Hey guys, so we're gonna be making our second collab. So I'm with the Chai Singh again. And so we got an, uh, another third person, right? Uh, Manjosh. And today we'll be talking about the toxic uh, mainstream part of Sikhi, where it says like, oh, you have to follow this certain thing, you, uh, this certain part, right? I understand where people have their reasonings for that. But Sikhi also teaches us this thing, which many of us are missing out, that we have to love people regardless of what they're doing whatever they follow right and um there was a chat in our discord server and it was just really nasty and my good friend here sachai was being attacked for being a uh, follower of anam Dhani, right personally as myself i don't believe in some of the practice they believe in but the thing is as a human being i don't hate him right and i also have with my friend majosh we've been talking every day and he's um he likes the nahang part of security right? he follows the nahang, like he wants to be like a nahang in the future right and although we have different beliefs, we respect each other, right, as human beings, and that's what Sikhi is. And um, that's what we'll be basically covering. Um, I'll add, I'll, I'll have Majosh start off from his aspect of um, the issues that he's had and people that just, you know, people that consider their six, but they just, you know, they're just, they're just hating on them, right? They'll say they're six, but like, are they really following Sikhi? So I'll let Majosh start off, um, start off, start off. Yeah. So basically, you know, for the longest time, you know, everybody's known about these petty little arguments, you know, just generally in our community. And it's just really, really toxic for absolutely no reason. Like just generally little petty stuff. I mean, like, you can't even call yourself a sick. Yeah. And yeah. like, let's mention stuff that you're like, um, of course, about the Nahang thing or regarding like, meat and, you know, like, um, jat like Jatka meat and regarding like, you know, like the use of uh, bang, right? I guess that's a bad term of what the conversations we have. Yeah, bang, and that's bit, not yeah. it. Yeah, bang isn't exactly. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, bang isn't exactly the right term. She uh, did It's like you wouldn't call the roti a grain, would you? No. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And can you just go into a little bit, a little bit of depth of uh, your experiences? With my experiences with this, you know, more mainstream Manasman, it's really just in the end, a bunch of weird, stupid people arguing about little petty things that make no difference to anything. Really, you know, they're not even fixed to get to that point. They're just nimdaks hating on each other for literally no reason, man. Arguing about the most petty stuff. And I feel like a big part, ha p p big part of that adds on to this aspect is the Dilsoft part, right? I know it's like the, a lot of people are part of Dilsoft and Delta or Dilsoft gang that we call it. They're the ones that are like huge on that. Like, oh, I'll put, I'll put Ryan Binnick out of this piece, like the whole, the whole new, right? And they just like, you know, they're the ones that are ready to attack, like, ah, who knows how to push on that and stuff, right? Like, I don't, I can't, how can, uh, how can somebody that's hateful be sick? That, that, that's not our definition of a sick to me, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, because like my whole thing is like, like the guy, you know, in the Discord, uh, he literally like, so I was like trying like first, you know, I was literally like, I wasn't trying to be like mean or anything, right? I was literally like, all right, man, you know, whatever our differences are, you know, we should be trying to be kind. And then you all, like me and you kind of like try to diffuse that whole situation, right? But then after, yeah. you know, he started going like crazy. He's like, oh, like, well, actually, I didn't even see all that part, but I literally, I noticed after that, he's like, nah, you're just straight up wrong. Like, I like you should stop being not that or whatever, right? So like after yeah. that, I was just like, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking to you, right? And then uh, after on the Discord, uh, he started going even more crazy. Like he started saying like, yo, all Nantiris should be like killed and like stuff like wild stuff like that, right? And naturally we banned him, right? For the wild stuff. But it's just like, it's crazy that these kind of people exist, right? It's just like Sikhi preaches literally about like Seva, you know, like treating everyone with respect, equality. And yet here we are fighting over like such stupid shit, right? It's just like, like, who cares? Like, what if like someone believes this or someone believes that? It's just like, just treat, like, we all have God in us. That's what Sikhi teaches us too, right? And yeah, no it's just like this toxic shit, like for no reason. It's like, <laughs> like, I don't, like, how can you call yourself a Sikh and yet still be so hateful? Like, that just makes no sense to me, right? And they'll literally like preach about like, yo, I'm a Sikh, like, go Senga and like all that kind of like shit, right? But then like, they like do the total opposite, right? And it's just, it makes no, like, absolutely makes no sense to me. Yeah, and that's the thing I want to add on. Do you remember, uh, I, we were even talking about this um, yesterday, right, Sajai? But um, I believe, uh, Manjosh, you know about Pai Kanyasing, right? 
pronounce I, I I may be pronouncing his name wrong. Um, how do you how do you pronounce it? Fai Kanyaya. Um, you know who I haven't Gokhi heard from, of him. Right? The guy, the guy that was part of Guru Gobind's army, right? So when the Mughals would be fighting the six, right? He would be literally serving, um, helping heal the Mughals who were fighting against the six at that time. And Guru Gobind Singh had even asked him. This is the core aspect. He said that. Um, he asked um, Pai Kanyaya Singh, uh, how come you're healing the Mughal wars? He's like, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, you're the one that told me that God's in everybody. And he says, I see that in them. So the thing is, in Sikhi, that that man was even helping the enemies, right? And the thing is, like, even though you guys got different beliefs, like the Manjosh, he likes the uh, likes Nahangs, right? You're a Namtari, right? And technically, in a sense, um, you guys have different beliefs. But the thing is, I know Namtari stay respect Guru Granth Sahib, but they don't see them as it's God. But the thing is, you guys aren't like disrespecting, say, oh, this is a piece of garbage, or you guys are not saying like Sikhi is bad, right? Mainstream Sikhi is bad. Of course, there are sects like Nairantari, yeah, but the that's thing not that. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, like those are those are people that actually literally disrespect the, the Guru Granth but leave them out of the point. But the thing is, you guys, your beliefs, you guys aren't even disrespecting the Sikh religion, you guys, right? And what's the need to hate people, hate people for that? And like, it's so like, I know this is for another view, but people are be hitting each other for like, who's keeping here, who's not, who's eating meat, who's not. It's just like, everybody's on their own journey. Like, why this hate is so unnecessary, right? Like, why? Like, same with that guy, he's from Saskatchewan, and we also have that half Irish half like, guppy. Like, I don't want to give their names, right? Because yeah. we shouldn't speak to that level. But the thing is, he tried to convey his message of why he believes um, about the 16 stuff, and then you tried to speak his point. But the thing is, you can't just force it down somebody's throat, right? That, you're, you're just like a mogul at that point, right? You're yeah. like, believe in what I want, believe in what I want. Or you, <laughs> yeah, like, just <laughs> what the difference, Kia? What's the difference between you guys and the Mughals? Like, literally, what's the difference between you guys? That's it's so it's... You know yeah, I mean? it's just like, 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 you're not God. Like, why are you like, what gives you the authority to like judge what other people? You even, right? what's right, what's wrong, right? Yeah, once somebody, once somebody knows what's what, once somebody says, Haan, minu pata hai sahi ya, and I, I'm gonna like, you're. You're just. Yeah. I, I, I have no words for them. I have no words for that person. Like, jira banda sochta tha, ha, mere rabbi, I know what God wants. You're failed. Yeah, it just, yeah, it, it just makes sense. Like, yeah, I feel I like mean, you're gone. So basically, like you know, you can't get Brahmgyan in like a day or two. It's not that easy. It takes decades. It's very, very Akhitis, right? Yeah. You know, even if you start from birth all the way to like 99 years old, you know, there's a small possibility that you might get Brahmgyan, thumb a little, right? Yeah. But if you act like, you know, I know Sara Kush Brahmate, right? You know, in like two days, that's just a Vada Pop. That's as stupid as hell, man. Yeah, I don't At know. At the same time, you're building your own ego, too. Yeah, and we're literally supposed to like fight against the ego and stuff. But yeah, I, yeah, it just makes no sense to me. Like these hypocrites, it's just like, like brown culture, Punjabi culture, Sikh culture is just all so toxic. And like, we really should be like coming together and banding together instead of like actually like, you know, separating us even more. Like, you know, Guru Gobind Singh literally got rid of the caste system to, you know, he's like, yo, we need to like unite, you know, we can't. Like, why are we like have all these like stupid divisions and all that? We should be all united. We should, you know, treat each other with respect, equality. Like, Sikhi was literally like one of the first religions to actually, you know, do feminism, where it's like, yo, men and women are equal, right? We should treat everyone with respect. And yeah, here, you know, here we are still fighting over the same stuff every single day, over and over and over again, and nothing really happens either. It's just like, like why? Uh, it just, I mean, <laughs> it's just wild. I want, I want to add something onto that. Like, that's a good point that you raised. I feel like as sticks that to modernize that we start to fall um we fell back into our Punjabi culture, Indian culture, right? The old traditions which we were supposed to come out of. We start to follow like Western myth all um, Western culture and stuff. But the thing is, if we think about this, Sikhi brought women's rights much before the West. In the West, women in Canada, especially if you talk about Canada, you know it's like a tolerant country, right? Women weren't, weren't able to vote in Canada until like 1940s and Sikhi had liberated that thing. So the thing is, we brought in all, everything that we've been taken out of, we just thrown ourselves right back into it. Just like, it's it's sad. It's, yeah. It is sad. 
Really the sad people that. are trying to embrace the modern tea, but they reject their tradition. If you want to be modern, if you want to be modern, follow oh, Siki, you'll be more modern than you know how the people just cutting their hair and like Sara Kush, like they're just trying to mm. like assimilate. But the thing is, you're you're becoming less modern when you do that because Siki is um, uh, everything that modern values is teaching, we already have that. We already have that. Mm. And the thing is, we're just, we're, we're, you're going more and more far away as soon as the more far we get away from Siki. But the thing is, um, I don't, I don't know. I like Manjush. Where do you feel like this? The, our failure is taking place. Well, how come we're failing? Like it can't be just. Do you, do you feel like it's more like the Gurdwaras that are not doing enough, or like because um, you, you you're quite smart for your age. That's why I'm, I'm asking you this. Maybe you have the appropriate answer for that. Like what what do you feel like? Why we've started to just like push away, push away from our main teachings. Really, this has been going on for like a super long time now. You know, I'd say after Maharaj's. I mean, like even during his raj, like like at the start of his raj, right? You know, before Mar- that, Mar- Mar- like right? yeah, before his uh, what's called the raj, Maharaj Ranjit Singh's, you know, Sikh he was pretty much the exact same since 1699, right? I mean, Maharaj Ranjit Singh he was a very good king, but you know, he wasn't the greatest Sikh. So really, yeah. from there, that was our downfall. Mm-hmm. But for that happening, it's more people rejecting, you know. What's happened and what we have to get there, right? Like the actual path. And I feel like the British had a huge um, impact on us, right? They changed all our mm. style stuff, right? Um, since we came into Indian, I, I feel like as soon as independence came, is we start to follow the mainstream parts of Indian uh, society, right? Because in Indian society, it's generally seen as uh, Banda runs everything, right? Um, Casteism is huge in India, so I feel like. Since that, since then, it started to really go down. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and another um, thing I think is like why, like Sikhi, um, like why it's kind of like you know dying down or whatever. It's just like people, even if they call themselves Sikh, they don't really actually follow it because like I think especially with like Western, like you know, or like if your parents are immigrants and you know you come to like Western countries or whatever, right? It's just like like even myself, like I don't really. Like my Punjabi is pretty bad. Like I can kind of read, right? But like forget some letters. But like if I was meant to read a page, it'd probably take me like 30 minutes an hour, right? And um, yeah. like stuff like that. So it's like, there's also like language barrier, right? For like new six and it's just like, and like the, like the Gurdwaras and all that, right? They just speak in Punjabi, right? They do Shabbat in Punjabi, they do everything, the, the Gurbani Punjabi, right? And then like the newer kids, they don't actually understand, you know, any of that means, right? So it's just like, mm-hmm. and their parents are, you know, usually focused on making money instead of actually teaching about Sikhi too, right? So it's just like, like you're like born into Sikhi, right? You're like, yo, you gotta be this, you gotta do this. You're like, you have all these rules, but it's just like, you don't know why you're doing this or like why. any of that stuff, right? And like your parents, like they follow Punjabi culture more than like Sikhi culture and like stuff like that. So it's just like, I think all those things that like, combined have that effect and it's like why, you know, Sikhi is just like, or like all these people, they call themselves Sikhs, right? But they're actually not really sick, so they don't really follow any of the actual rules. He, um, bringing up to that, there's no real definition of a sick, you know. We, it's we've pretty talked hard. about this so many times. We, we, me and him have so many stupid arguments about, like, we always talk about, like, yes and stuff, right? But we, like, there's that too, there's two aspects on it. There's definitely more to a sick, right? Sorry for interrupting you, Manjosh, I'll let you go on. But there's the outer appearance, which is important, and also the internal, right? Because when the internal, once the internal is pure, the outer comes out. But yeah, um, Majosh, go ahead. Sorry for cutting you up. Yeah, exactly what Jeetan was saying. You know, Bani, Bana, Sant, Safai, right? But in that order too, first Sant, then Safai, first Bani, then Bana, right? Mm-hmm. You know, True. at the same time, you can't call yourself a Sikh with just a Bana if you don't have Bani. Right, you can't call your sick if you have just Bonnie and not Bana either, right? And, and just for like, I just want to add one more thing, and that's yeah. why there's such, such a big. I feel so bad for a lot of these kids that, um, you know, they have the like their goodie and stuff, right? And then they don't even have that proper knowledge of like why I have this and stuff, right? And then just and then they they want to do it, and then they're like, oh, and then they're gonna get all this hate. It's just like they haven't been. That's the same thing you said. Bani than Bana, right? These guys have not even been put into sick. Their parents, like, just like um, uh, Sachai said, I love this conversation where it's good. They're focused on the money, right? And then uh, Gurumat is not even taught to them. So it's just like the kid is like, is has an appearance, has a identity, but he doesn't know why I have it, right? And yeah, go ahead, Sachai. Sorry for coming here. 
Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, could you actually like define uh, Barney and Barna and like the other two things that you said, you know, just so everyone can actually understand what they are? So Barney, Barna, Barney is more relating to Gurbani, really any Gurbani, but you know, typically on that first you have to go to Ad Barney, Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Siri Ad Guru Granth Sahib Ji, right? Yeah. And then we go on to Siri Dasam Barney, right? Then yeah. we go to Sarblo Barney. So in that order too, mm-hmm. and going for Barna, Barna is more. You could say your responsibilities or things you have to do, right? Mm-hmm. It's like not your outward appearance always, right? Because bana literally means, you know, clothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more like your responsibilities or things you have to do, things you have to carry, right? The load it's on your you shoulders. Express, it's from the body that you read, you read, and then you express it out. You express it after. That's that's almost like, that's that's kind of what you're just kind of saying, right? The body you read. And then Bana is like your outward expression of like how you behave. It's not necessarily how, like are you trying to say? So it's not necessarily how you look on the outwards, like your body, you know, dada, your clothes, right? It's, but more about like how you express and how you behave in the outside world, right? The, on Bani, there's two parts, and on Bana, there's two parts. And Bani is one is you know going into it like reading Bani, and two is understanding it, right? Listening to Katha, or you know, actually going out to try and understand this. It's not like you can just do Japji Sahib and not know anything, right? Mm-hmm. For Bana, for Bana, it's like, hey, you have to, you know, not like literally show. You have to have the sarup, right? And you have to have the embodiment of the Khalsa. You have to keep your dar. You have to keep your case. You know, you have to tie the mala. Well, not have to, but recommend yeah. it. Recommend, you know, yeah. Whatever sampradaya you go into, right, or nahang or nirmal, whatever you want, or dasi, you have to like take that bana. Mm-hmm. One is just showing it; two is doing it. For example, uh, nirmal, they do a lot of uh, you know katha. They're very bani, you know, uh, what's called Orient. orientated, right? Yeah. Nahang sings. They pretty much do everything. On top of that, they do fighting as well, right? Yeah. Nanak Seva Panti, they do a lot of Seva. There's not a lot of them left anymore, but they do somewhat exist. Mm-hmm. So each, 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 basically each kind of ask, um, each kind of group has their own like special qualities which they can. Um, yeah, but under the qualities. whole thing, it's all under the Kasa. Sare Guru Nanak they say, right? It's not like they fight against each other ever, right? That's never happened. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess like nowadays I like it might be, you know, happening, but yeah, sorry to cut you yeah, off. It's just, happening but... now, but like, you know, past a uh, long time ago, we could say it hasn't happened, mm-hmm. right? You know, yeah, people are now like attacking the Hing Singhs, Udasis, Nirmals. It's just weird, it's stupid as hell. Yeah. And I feel like that's a good. I feel like that's a good place for us to conclude on um, where Manjush had mentioned that. Sorry, Guru the Khalsa, yeah, we're. All of, we all are six. We sh- and that's what the thing is. We should all learn how to, you know, sign up the art karnaya because that's the main thing that as that we're told as a six, uh, right? If you feel if you do consider yourself a six, is you have to. The main thing is sign up the art karnaya and all that. Jira dushmaniya. That's a different story, right? We have to do that. But the thing is, if somebody's not really hard, I mean, someone, right? They're not disrespecting our religion. We shouldn't really. Uh, be attacking them or like wish like like that in that discord server wishing them death and stuff. That's just that's messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. And yeah. I feel like and I and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wait, uh, man, I just have like one last thing to add. I just like I say like even if someone is disrespecting the religion, even right, like you still shouldn't. I think like wish death upon them still or anything like wild like that, right? It's just like be your best self and like let God. You know, judge them and stuff, and obviously, like if they're like killing people or like some actual like fucked severe, up shit, right? Yeah, of course, it's severe, right? Like if they're just dis- like disrespecting, like some people like on my, um, in on my stuff, right? They'd be like making fun of the fog and stuff, but like sometimes you have to like explain them and stuff, right? Um, right, and also, also, but like they start to like you know cross the line and they do like killing, and raping, right, ripping the grants, the other stuff, right? Then of course you have to take like some kind of action, but like if someone's disrespecting a we can explain them right but of course it's a line right yeah and, and uh, i i believe that i i believe that both of us uh, all three of us can agree to that right yeah, yes yeah, yeah exactly it's just like so, i was just gonna yeah, go uh, just like my last i guess concluding thoughts it's just like this at the end you know like jaytan said it's just like treat each other with respect and just you know like we'll all be better off 
you know, if you treat each other yeah. with respect, instead of, you know, creating more hate and then this will just pass down and no, then more and more hate and then, you know, no one's going to be happy at the end of the day. And, you know, you'll probably not even, you know, go to like Guruji in the end either. You'll probably just be reincarnated as like some other stupid shit, right? So it's just like, like just try to be respectful, like, you know, try to follow your own Sikhi, you know, whatever that may be. I mean, like, obviously, um, don't like make i mean obviously like follow the rules <laughs> whatever i mean no these days you know these days six are trying to be like oh no if you the only way you're gonna go to heaven is you can follow this way like, no disrespect to personal muslims right but some christians and muslims will say you have to follow jesus christ to go to heaven right some muslims will say you have to follow islam to go to heaven right but the yeah. thing is sikhi is inclusive even jagraj said, said, said that so i don't want anybody arguing me arguing with me saying this because obama right i'm saying that from him he said that as long as you believe in one God, you do good deeds, you will go to heaven, right? You will go... Such so kind of... End this... Yeah, so, sorry. Uh, uh, so I was going to say, we got to end this um, um, re- re- retarded um, arguments, right? And yeah, Majesty, yeah. what do you want to say? Yeah, uh, instead of heaven, it's more like such kind, but it's pretty Sachkan. much the exact same thing. thing. I didn't want to sound like a smart ass. I didn't want to use that word yeah. in an inappropriate way. But yeah, definitely... Uh, thanks for viewing my uh, viewing my video and su- subscribe to Sachai Singh and yeah, sachai has got really good videos out there and he talks about real stuff, right? Maybe it's not so religious, but he does talk about like real stuff that's helpful and I'll definitely tell you to check his channel out, subscribe, you know, like and share to your friends that uh, would benefit from his channel and uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys actually took something away from this. And as a punt, we really need to work on this, right? Because it's very toxic, and this is the reason that why people are leaving, and we have to stop this. But spare for us all enough, and I hope you guys take care. Why did you take us? Why did you take us?